the Pokemon Go community is in shambles. But not quite, because the Pokemon Go community collectively has agreed on one thing. The new Pokemon Go update sucks. So Pokemon Go and Niantic have rolled out their Rediscover Go initiative. To be completely honest, I've been completely checked out of Pokemon Go for months now. I was really into it, and then my app started crashing all the time. I couldn't play for more than a minute without the game just freezing and it made it literally unplayable. So when I saw that they're doing the Rediscover Go initiative, I thought it would be a perfect chance for me to get back into the game. And after seeing some of the feedback, maybe not. So the idea for Rediscover Go is basically an entire reskin for Pokemon Go and a way for players old to get back into the game and new to get into the game. The update includes a brand new in-game map, new battle screens that are tailored to your location, and what should be the most exciting part is their new avatar customization, which is usually a good thing. And when I first saw the new models, I didn't have a reference. I was like, they kind of look the same. Like I said, I haven't played in months, but then looking on Twitter and seeing people post their before and after, is crazy this is this trainer's avatar right before the update and this is after it it is noticeably different and noticeably worse this at least has soul behind the eyes i feel like this i don't know i can't explain it but it, it looks soulless this is an example that shows you right back to back just how different they look it's lost color it doesn't have the same feel to it anymore once again another one where the skin tone is completely different the face, the face is the main thing that I just really dislike. It's just noticeably worse. That is kind of the sentiment online. Everyone collectively agrees that this was not a good change. I do really enjoy the new battle screens, the way they're tailored to your location. Like this one is a shiny Nidoran. There's another one I wanted to show you guys. Once again, another shiny uh, Machop, but the battle screen is what we're looking at here. It looks beautiful, it really does. And this person said, went to the beach after work to see the updated screen. It looks awesome. It really does. I really like that it's updated to your location. This is a screenshot of a trainer on the overworld map. Once again, I, I think the overworld map looks good. Another thing that has been happening because of this update is there's been a ton of bugs with buddy Pokemon and avatars in general. And this one right here, I mean, it just, it looks awful. <laughs> Here's another bug uh, with someone's buddy Pokemon where the Gardevoir is just straight up dead on the ground. The thing that sucks the most is watching the Rediscover Go trailer. It could have been a great way to introduce people back into Pokemon Go. And I think it just highlighted how much people are tired of the game. And even with the backgrounds, I was talking about how much I really enjoyed those. And even those are causing trouble. Pop Chomp on Twitter says, at Niantic help, the updated biome backgrounds in Pokemon Go are creating unbearable lag on my device. Even with enhanced graphics turned off, I cannot throw Pokeballs consistently anymore because of massive frame rate drops occurring within Pokemon encounter screen. Sheesh. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I have not played Pokemon Go in months. So I'm gonna go into Pokemon Go myself, look at the new background, look at the new encounter screen, see if I experience any lag, and then show you guys the customization options. First things first, the updated background. It does look quite a bit different, but nothing too wild. Um, overall, it, do it does look good though. So let's go ahead and try to catch one of these just to see these new updated screens right away. It looks amazing. I, I really enjoy the new screen, uh, even seeing it in the game. So far, I'm not experiencing any lag. It worked perfect that time. Um, they they could have, and, and admittedly, I'm making this video a few days late, so they may have updated it that I don't know about, but so far, I'm not experiencing any lag. I do know, I have a friend who I had talked to a few days ago that had experienced it, so I know it's happening to people. Um, just right now, it seems to be running pretty smooth. So we're gonna go into the character customization options. I don't have a screenshot of my trainer beforehand, which sucks. Um, I will look to see if I can find one, hopefully. Right away, we can go into here where we have short, medium, and long hair. So the short hair, um, a lot of them are kind of the same options, I feel like. Some of these are new. I don't know if we had the bowl cut. I like the Ian Hecox look. Some medium hair. Overall, pretty pretty cool options. We got seven different face options, which each one just, I don't, I can't explain it really. None of them really look great. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Eye options, of course, just typical. And then you can go into here. Okay, so they got quite a few different colors. You can do like pink, purple, dark purple. So we got quite a few different options here. They got some presets, but then they also have these sliders here where you can adjust your weight. We'll go all the way down for all of them and then we'll go all the way up for all of them. So we got weight, muscles, shoulders, chest, and hips. 
Flip the hips all the way down, weight all the way up, muscle all the way up, shoulders all the way up, chest all the way up, hips all the way up. So this is maxed out. It just doesn't look great. I honestly would rather just stick to the old, the old avatars, as do most people. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think this is the first time I've seen a community collectively come together and say something is just not good. So overall, I enjoy aspects of the new update. I think the updated graphics look great. The customization options need a lot of work. But with all that being said, Niantic might be listening. So this is an article posted by Pokemon Go Hub. Niantic acknowledges community feedback on new avatar system. Recently, we published a piece titled Pokemon Go's new avatar update is unfortunately live. Covering the new avatar system that Niantic launched on April 17, 2024 in Pokemon Go despite negative beta feedback and a large number of visual issues and bugs. The reaction to this article was unprecedented with hundreds of supportive readers commenting on our X and Facebook accounts, our Discord server, and in private messages. A company representative from Niantic did ask for feedback and the article states that they are pleased to say that the following is now true. So they've listed here four different points. Niantic has asked for, collected, and acknowledged the feedback given by our readers and fellow content creators, influencers, and members of the online community. A high-ranking Niantic has shared the following statement. We're sending all of your feedback to the product team and the folks who worked on the avatar system. We're taking this seriously and really appreciate you sharing your candid personal opinions and followers' opinions. Some visual issues have already been addressed. Most of the issues fixed are the ones that resulted in NSFW imagery in the game. That's something I didn't even cover yet. Um, I'll just put this here, that happened. Niantic has made no promises on the future course of the avatar system, nor have they made any promises about reverting it, but they have received all your feedback, including all of yours, and have confirmed that they are taking it seriously. By no means does any of this mean that Niantic's gonna go back and change anything, but it does mean that they know that we're upset. Hopefully, Niantic will get enough feedback that they are forced to change this for the better. Comment down below what you think of the new Pokemon Go update, what you liked, what you disliked. That pretty much covers everything for today. I hope you guys really did enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.